I'm actually very sad, man. So I hate to burst your bubble. I know I'm always happy and sh shit. I'm holding back tears, to be honest, but I'm very sad that even a single person in the universe doesn't think that Pencho's the best deck, baby! Pencho best deck! If you think Pencho's are dead, you are dumb! Pen best deck, baby! Pen against Numeron, no problem! Numeron, numero two! Because Pen best deck, baby! You already know. So this video, we don't even need to do Pencho full power. We don't even need to do Pencho with three Magician Souls. Instead, we're gonna be doing a semi-budget Pendulum list that absolutely destroys the meta, that shits on Numeron bullshit, that shits on this Dragma shit, that shits on every single version, uh, it's gonna be a problem from now until the end of time. So get ready to the video, and if you're excited that finally, finally, Trip Gaming is posted back on the YouTube, then hit the subscribe button, baby, and what better way to celebrate 14 days of no posting and coming back than to release the new Trip Gaming playmat right here, the unreleased 2 to Lecture Ride playmat that's gonna come to your house very soon. So if you're ready for the video, smash the subscribe button. Let's get straight into the video, baby. Hit the tripgaming.com and let's go, baby. Let's go. Send my budget of pendulum time. Before we get into this crazy, crazy, crazy pendulum video, don't forget to stay tuned to the very end because I'm going to be dropping some crazy tips for you guys. And lastly, don't forget to get the beautiful Tune Electro playmat on TripGaming.com because it will sell out soon. So get yours ASAP, stay tuned to the video, and let's get it, boys. Do you really think the Pen God needs a full power pendulum deck to destroy every meta deck? You're wrong. Do you think you need a full power pendulum deck to destroy every meta deck? You're also wrong. This is it, boys. The holy grail. Semi-budget pendulums. The best bang for your buck you can find. If you're out there looking for some deck you want to play, don't go spending 500 bucks on three Golden Lords and three Impermanences when for $150 to $200, you can get a deck that is fully compatible and ready to defeat the entire world. So normally in these videos, I showcase the deck list at the end. I'm going to show you guys the deck list quickly. Then we go straight into a tutorial that shows you how to put up seven negates. Eight negates, actually. So stay tuned till the very end. If you want to figure out how minus souls, this whole deck is like what? 100 bucks, 50 bucks? You just need one souls because you search it all the time. There's a specific way to do it. Stay tuned till the end of the video so you catch on everything. It's very important to stay tuned till the end so you can learn exactly how to do it. So we're going to go straight into this. But before we do, don't forget to go check out the Patreon because everything I talk about now is just multiplied on the Patreon. I talk about it as many times as I can. So I can teach you guys how to get better and get on. The pen gods level, baby. Let's go. So, with that being said, let's go. So, we got Servant, Triple Doctor, Reflection, all low skills. Double Jack, Double Money Master. You don't need three Money Master because you're playing Magicians. Magicians are actually legitimately good. What Magicians offer you is a searchable Magician Souls. And Magician Souls is very good, as everyone knows. So, this is a list that we play. I'm not going to get too into it because, uh, yeah, because it's perfect and there's no reason to explain it. I already explained it all the time on my Patreon, so you'll check out the Patreon if you want to figure out. But from now on, the YouTube will not be so much based on explanation, but more so showing you how broken the deck is. I will explain one thing. Time Pen Graph is the reason this deck does something. Pen Graph is remarkable, and I'll show you in the replay. The side deck, no need for hand traps. After you, no one plays the Dragon of Decay anymore. They, they, everyone plays Dragon of Decay, goes to Rockets instead, and, and play normal Rocket, because not everyone knows how to stop the FDK. This X deck, everything you need, fantastic. Going first, you do side deck the tornado dragon combos, which I'll explain later. With that being said, this is the deck list, you guys see it? I'm not gonna go straight to the seven to eight negate combo tutorial, which will show you guys how to use this deck perfectly. Now you guys see the deck list. Let's go. We're gonna get through this combo tutorial super fast so every single person can learn it. Whether you're new, old, sick, bad, Yu-Gi-Oh, it doesn't matter. So it's gonna be super easy to learn. So this is our opening hand. It's a good hand, obviously, like every hand. But you're going to notice something very important. Magician Souls will be very vital in this hand, as you're going to see eventually in the combo to complete our, our, our interruptions. But you don't need three souls. You don't need to draw it. You literally search it every single time with one time star. And end goal is time star. So we're going to fast forward here. You're going to notice we didn't open any pen graph or magicians to start. But you're playing 10, 15 draw cards on the deck. We now have four magicians and we started with zero. 
or four mission related cards. So as you see, it's very important to play all the draw cards to prove it. We're gonna keep going here to show you guys the power. We're gonna actually use Mighty Master here to put Servant in the scale because with Servant in the scale, uh, you just get more value out of that. So use Mighty Master to pop the Servant, uh, to summon itself and pop the Servant. If I went a little faster, you could rewind. Essentially what I just did is I kept drawing as much as I can. And then at the end, I use Mighty Master in scale to destroy my own Servant of Endymion that's on the field to put the Servant of Endymion in the scale. And now I have Mighty Master Jackal on the field. I'm then gonna, I'm under three summons right now. So I'm gonna link them both into a link two because I get a free link two for nothing by doing so. And I'm only on num summon number four. So I can't get Nibiru. Servant will have two counters on it. So I can really pendulum summon back the Mighty Master on the Jackal and I can negate a Nibiru because I have a Jackal with two counters on Servant. I'm gonna pendulum summon here. And I want you guys to pay close attention to what I'm doing here. I'm gonna add it to the end phase now that I also specifically searched Celestial Magician. I'm gonna special anything, doesn't really matter. Now at this point, your next play will be depending on how semi-budget you're playing. Uh, the end board should be any on Savage Dragon, but uh, just in case you're not playing Savage Dragon, I'll show you another route. So if you're playing Savage Dragon, your play here is very simple. Time Star is gonna detach the Harmonizing Magician, very, but I'm gonna detach Celestial because I'm gonna pretend you guys aren't playing that, that you're, you guys are playing super budget. But if you own a Savage Dragon, your play here is Time Star, Detach, Harmonizing specifically. There's a reason, it's a tuner. And you're gonna search a Magician Souls, okay? Next, you're gonna summon the Magician Souls and send Reflection, because Reflection and Mighty Master will both be level seven that you're missing. Like I said, so why place three souls when Time Star searches it and Time Star is one cent? So, instead of playing $300 cards, you're gonna play one cent card and a $100 card, easy. We're gonna go into Selene. Here, Selene summons Reflection. It's very important how we do this. Absolute Dragon, Cross Sheep, Vortex. Now, at this point, remember when I said if you have the Savage Dragon? At this point, you should summon out the Harmonizing that's under the Time Star because we're not playing it. But if you own a Harmonizing, if you own a Savage Dragon, I would detach the Harmonizing instead. I would summon the Harmonizing Magician and then I would make Savage Dragon with Purple Poison and the Harmonizing Magician where the Purple Poison is. So there should be a Jackal, a Savage Dragon, and a Vortex. There would then be a card that goes to the extra deck for Vortex and the Gate with, and then Cross Sheep and Time Star will go into Selene because Time Star is also a spellcaster. And then Selene summons Mighty Master and Reflection. So with, you're gonna have five negates there via Jackal, Savage Dragon, Vortex, Mighty Master and Reflection, and Pengraph are gonna be equal six and seven because Pengraph is gonna destroy Dragon Pit. And then it gets even better. And then at the end phase, uh, your Celestia is gonna give you a Chronograph Sorcerer. And when, one of your, when Mighty Master bounces a Reflection back to your hand or bounces a Jackal back to your hand, and when something gets destroyed, Chronograph will special itself and the same Jackal back. Big brain, boys. Now we're gonna go through a different route. What if you don't have the Savage Dragon? So we're gonna show you guys route number two now if you don't have the Savage Dragon. You can go Dweller, like I did there, but I don't like that because then you're gonna have to go into a different play just to purposely put cards in the actual deck for Vortex because Vortex doesn't have anything. So that's why I prefer Savage Dragon there. Uh, the other option is that you could now link away if you have an Appaloosa, let's say randomly you have an Appaloosa. In this situation, you could also link into Appaloosa with Selena and Mighty Master, Selena and Jackal, if you want to really go into for the Dweller. But I don't think that's the right play either, especially because if you have an Appaloosa, you probably have a, have a Savage Dragon, and the Savage Dragon play was better. I want to show you guys different routes. I'm going to now show you guys the, the route if you don't have Appaloosa, if you don't have Savage Dragon. So we all remember when it was at this stage right now, with a Crossing Summon of Celestial Magician. Well, at this point, you would go Mascarena, which would be the other option if you don't own a Savage Dragon. It's semi-budget, so I do recommend getting one of each of them. Yeah, one, sorry, one of them. Get one Mascarena, one Appaloosa, or, or one Savage Dragon. One or the other. You need something like in a situation like this for Vortex Dragon. They can't all be XYZ monsters. So I opt for Mascarena here. I'm going to link those into a Selene. And then I'm going to use Selene to summon out a Reflection. Or sorry, a Mighty Master. And then uh, whenever I could use Mascarena whenever I want to summon something back as well. And Time Pen Grab will be able to pop two cards because you're under Pendulum Call. So Dragon Pit will pop two cards. So just like that, you got one negate, two negate, three negate, four negate, five negate, six negate, seven negate. Because Pengraph is popping two cards. And at the end phase, because you summon Celestial Magician this turn, you summon Celestial Magician this turn, so you're gonna get Chronograph Sorcerer from your deck. And like I said again, when, when Mighty Master bounces Jackal, or when, even better, when Reflection bounces back to Mighty Master, you then use the, the Chronograph when something gets destroyed to summon Chronograph and the Reflection, and Reflection will get its effect right away. So it's a super cool way to do it. Well, sorry, 
Uh, well, summon the Mighty Master. Because Reflection will bounce the Mighty Master to your hand and then Chrono Cap will summon the Mighty Master. So you get another Spell Trap Negate. That's eight Negates. So that's the tutorial, guys. If there's any questions, feel free to hit me up on Patreon where I answer every and every, all questions you guys have. And don't forget to check out the beautiful, absolutely remarkable, Tune Electrified Cloth Playmat on TroopGaming.com. Get yours now while supplies last. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah, yeah.